Yeah, hi, this is the team at Math Finance, Alexander Stromillo, my name is Uwe Listup. We are here today to show a couple of ideas on the FX Smile surface. Uh, FX options use the volatility smile as the key input parameter that's needed, and that's what we're working on. So just a couple of runs on the, on the surface today to illustrate some of the findings we have. Some of the really relevant uh, parts are the interpolation and extrapolation of the smile using different techniques. There are, there's a, a fan club for a number of techniques. There are parabolas, you can get uh, cubic splines, you can do SVI methods, uh, it's van der Volga fitting, Sabre model, a lot of things around. Uh, we have selected a few of them today to illustrate some of the effects. So let's, let's dive in right away and uh, look at polynomials. The simplest thing you can do is parabolas. Alexander, what do you think of parabolas? Yeah, well, parabola is the simplest uh, method that one can use to fit the uh, smile points. Uh, usually parabola is, uh, in, in its most simple uh, form, fits the, only the three points, so at the money and 25 delta points. So here on the plot you can see the blue line that, uh, that was obtained by fitting uh, parabola. As I say, you see very well fit in the centrum of the graph, but then on the wings, we are missing information about the wing uh, distribution. Then uh, a better picture can be obtained by using uh, cubic spline interpolation. And of course, uh, with, as with all the spline interpolations, we can fit all the points exactly. But this comes uh, for, for the price, uh, and the price is some unsmoothness in the shape. First, we notice that um, far out of the money, the shape of the curve changes. So whenever we moving outside of this 10 day, uh, t 10 delta range, the, um, the, the cubic spline starts behaving uh, linearly in terms of uh, delta space, but it behaves in a concave fashion when we move to a, a log money in this space. Uh, especially one can see uh, the, the, the drawbacks of the cubic spline, which is uh, continuous and smooth up to second order. But with the third order derivative, we already have some kinks, and that's what we can see when we plot um, implied density function. Um, the third um, type of interpolation that we propose is the SVI, uh, SVI fit of the smile. And SVI uh, is able and is capable to pretty well fit all the input points uh, on the smile and as well it shows pretty uh, good shape on the wings so we see some linear uh, linear um, uh, asymptotic behavior in terms of uh, volatilities and we see some uh, we see nicely looking shape of the of the density yeah, that's uh, if I may jump in here, you see these areas where generally the polynomials and the uh, cubic spline tends to be too flat on the wings. And this is on the lock moneyness space here, right? Uh, so too flat on the wings. So that's why some other uh, techniques have been proposed to come up with a smile that's steeper here, like the SVI is one of these techniques. Um, and so that's another thing we we propose, and in fact, uh, but you need to do it right. Even if in an uh, in a, in an SEVI uh, method you can definitely have problems, even if it passes all tests that you can have, you can look at it with the MRI and think everything is okay, but yet actually there are traps. So Alexander, did you find any traps here? Yeah, recently we came across a data set uh, that came from uh, Aussie dollar, uh, uh, New Zealand dollar, dollar currency pair, so Aussie dollar Kiwi. And the data comes back from um, 2014. Um, so first let's have a look at the, at, the, at the fit. So here we see the five, the standard five points um, that we that we use to, to to calibrate our SVI parameters, and as you can see, the the, the, the smile looks perfect. So it fits all the points points uh, almost exactly. The shape looks nice. Uh, the the density looks very smooth. But if we move uh, slightly outside of the of the typical uh, central range, then our density becomes negative, which indicates a possibility for the butterfly arbitrage. And um, virtual, um, virtual inspection of the uh, smile in the, in the typical range from minus uh, 10 uh, delta to plus 10 delta, the typical quotation range, is not enough to, to, to ensure 
uh, to ensure that your smile is free of arbitrage possibilities. Yeah, that's the problem, right? You see here that all the points are on, it looks nice and smooth. There are no outliers and the curve looks really nice as it should. But yet, if you go out too far, you might run into problems. I mean, this is not something where you'd say this is in a very realistic range of trading because you see that's quite far out. But yet, the curve is wrong. So um, if you want to really do it right, we need to have uh, imposed additional constraints on the uh, construction of the smile. Right, that's it uh, for... Today, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, stay tuned to Math Finance and the Smile Surface. Thank you very much.